eutrophication has emerged as a pressing environmental concern in recent years. This phenomenon manifests visibly through algal blooms, which not only mar the aesthetic appeal of water bodies, but also lead to a severe depletion of oxygen levels within them, thereby adversely affecting aquatic life. It is the process in which water bodies become excessively enriched with nutrients. The deterioration in water quality caused by eutrophication presents multifaceted challenges, encompassing ecological disruptions, threats to human health, and impacts on economies that rely on these water resources. At the core of eutrophication lie nutrient runoffs which are rich in phosphorus and nitrogen. These nutrients, which are indispensable for the growth of plants, find their way into water bodies through various sources. This includes agricultural fertilizers, sewage, industrial effluent, detergents, and runoff from aquaculture. When they enter aquatic ecosystems, these substances trigger an excessive proliferation of algae and aquatic plants. This leads to an ecological imbalance with far-reaching repercussions. Comprehending the phosphorus cycle is essential to understand the environmental implications of phosphorus and its contribution to eutrophication. The phosphorus cycle is a biogeochemical process that delineates the movement of phosphorus across the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and biosphere. This cycle is distinct from many other biogeochemical cycles in that the atmosphere plays a minimal role in the transport of phosphorus. The reason for this lies in the physical properties of phosphorus and its compounds, which under the usual temperature and pressure conditions on Earth predominantly exist in solid forms. Unlike the swift cycling of elements such as water, oxygen, and carbon, phosphorus follows a more deliberate and gradual course through the Earth's crust, aquatic environments, and living organisms. Phosphorus assumes a fundamental role in the building blocks of life, forming an integral part of critical molecules such as DNA, RNA, and ATP. Nonetheless, its leisurely natural cycle is contrasted by the accelerated transfer of phosphorus from terrestrial to aquatic environments, which is largely driven by human activities. This acceleration of phosphorus movement has considerable environmental consequences. Phosphorus plays a crucial role as an essential nutrient for both plants and animals. In aquatic ecosystems, it is often the limiting nutrient, meaning it is a variable that significantly influences the productivity and balance of these systems. As a limiting factor, phosphorus availability can lead to notable changes in the growth and sustainability of aquatic organisms. It is a key component of vital life-sustaining molecules widespread in the biosphere. Given its role as a limiting nutrient, the addition of phosphorus in controlled quantities is imperative in aquaculture systems to ensure the optimal growth and health of aquatic life. The phosphorus crisis in agriculture and aquaculture further revolves around concerns related to the depletion of non-renewable phosphorus reserves. The extensive use of phosphorus in fertilizer production presents a looming threat to global food security necessitating an urgent reassessment of its utilization in these sectors. In a study published in Nature Geoscience, the researchers developed a model to analyze soil phosphorus dynamics and its impact on agricultural soil fertility from 1950 to 2017. They aim to quantify the contribution of anthropogenic phosphorus, originating from mineral phosphorus fertilizers to agricultural soil fertility. The study revealed that, by 2017, Approximately 47% of available phosphorus in global agricultural soils was attributed to anthropogenic sources. Within aquaculture, the utilization of phosphorus-rich feeds plays a pivotal role in the transfer of phosphorus within ecosystems. Consequently, the management of phosphorus use in fish farming assumes paramount importance in mitigating its environmental impact. Addressing the complex challenge posed by phosphorus necessitates a comprehensive and multifaceted approach. In the agricultural sector, reducing the application of phosphorus and nitrogen-rich fertilizers emerges as a critical imperative. Farming practices can be optimized through the implementation of nutrient management strategies that enhance the efficiency of fertilizer usage, thereby reducing nutrient runoff. Additionally, the adoption of measures such as buffer strips and cover crops can serve as effective means to prevent nutrient leaching from agricultural fields into water bodies. 
Wastewater treatment facilities play a pivotal role in the prevention of eutrophication, upgrading these facilities to incorporate advanced technologies that can remove excess nutrients before their discharge into water bodies represents a significant step toward mitigating the risk of algal blooms. Nevertheless, this solution demands substantial financial investments and a long-term commitment to environmental sustainability from relevant authorities and stakeholders. In aquaculture, the use of recirculating aquaculture systems and the treatment of solid waste and wastewater during batch replacement are strategies to reduce the amount of uneaten food, nitrogen compounds, and phosphorus released into local ecosystems. Further, it can prevent genetic pollution through livestock escapes and the introduction of invasive aquatic plants. Education and policy interventions constitute essential components of the strategy to combat eutrophication. Heightening public awareness about the causes and consequences of this phenomenon can foster more responsible practices in the use of fertilizers and detergents. Furthermore, the enactment of policies aimed at regulating nutrient runoff and promoting sustainable agricultural and aquacultural practices assumes a central role in averting the further exacerbation of eutrophication. In conclusion, achieving an equilibrium between human needs and environmental conservation is imperative in confronting the phosphorus challenge. As the world approaches a critical juncture in phosphorus availability, it becomes increasingly urgent to adopt sustainable practices that prioritize the efficient and responsible utilization of this essential nutrient. This equilibrium is essential for safeguarding our aquatic ecosystems to ensure the long-term sustainability of our planet and to secure the well-being of all its inhabitants. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the challenges and solutions surrounding eutrophication and phosphorus management. At Aquabioculture, we are dedicated to fostering sustainable aquaculture, balancing ecological responsibility with our commercial aims. Our focus is on innovating practices that protect aquatic ecosystems and promote good animal husbandry. For more information or to support our mission, please reach out to us. Thank you for watching and for your commitment to environmental stewardship.